Here's the cold smoke pellets. There's the tube filled and smoking. Light it up with my Mappy gas. You can edit that. You <laughs> get Mappy gas. All right, so the smoker's going. Sitting on the bottom shelf. All right. Got the chicken legs up here on the rack. Spiced up and ready to go. Yep. Leave them on here for an oh, hour, hour and a half. And they'll be all smoked up. All right, time to see how they're doing. On the cold smoking, you can see the temperature is all the way down to the bottom. It's not even 100 in there. That's just where it pegs. Oh. Got some nice brown on them from smoke. Now it's time to start the fire and we'll cook them offset from the heat. Got a couple of paraffin cubes going to get the charcoal going. Sit that right over the top. This still probably has a half an hour to smoke so we'll just leave that in there while we're cooking the chicken. Still trying to uh, get the fire hot. It's only been about five minutes. Don't want to use this kind of smoke. Uh, it's better if you wait till it's good and hot and it stops smoking because that smoke does not taste good on food. I generally use wood. Today I'm using this mesquite flavored Kingsford charcoal briquettes. Just about hot enough. It's only been about eight total minutes since I started it. Most of the bad smoke is gone and you just got this little stuff from the charcoal being hot. Still got the smoker tube going. I'm going to Dump the charcoal and get the chicken out. Got a big old piece of a fireplace set that broke the handle off, so I use that for spreading charcoal around. I'm gonna put the heat over here and the meat over here. So here's the heat over here. Got the chicken on this side, the smoker's still going underneath there. Should be good. I'm gonna close the lid. It'll get up to about 400 degrees. I'll flip this so that uh, the other side towards the heat and then we'll just put it the other way all together and it'll be done in about 40 minutes tops. Yeah. Gotta highly recommend getting some gloves that are heat proof. Those things are priceless. Saved me a lot of blisters. We're already up to 300 degrees. It'll get up to about 400 in a few more minutes. Uh oh. Got grandkids over too. What do you got there, Henrik? A trumpet. A trumpet, all right. It got just a little bit hotter, but this is where it topped out. 450. It'll drop from here and it'll be fine. By the time we're done, it'll be perfect. So I did move them over the heat for a minute. Soon I will take them off the rack and just lay them on the rack the grill surface so that they can uh, get nice and crispy all around. They're going to be really tasty. Probably can't really see it, but I dropped in a couple of chunks of mesquite wood to add some more flavor. For flare-ups, I've got my trusty bottle of water. Just an old squirt bottle from dish soap. biggest ones. Let's see what we got here. Plenty done, I would say. A lot of people cook chicken until it's dried up. You only got to cook it till it's done. Then stop cooking it. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to lay them on the grill for just a minute. Get a little more color on them. Are done. Some people will look at the meat and say, oh, it's still pink. It's not, not, not really pink. If the temperature says it's done, believe me, you won't get sick. Okay, I'm going to get my tongs and I'll be right back out. All right, we're going to take these out of here and 
put them on this nice plate. I guess it'd be called a platter at a Coney Island, which is where I got it. I bought it when they were closing down Chuck Soul Food and Coney in Pontiac, Michigan from Chuck and Lorraine Lizana. They were had a great place going there with great southern tasting food. How do those look? Not too bad, huh? And that's what it looks like. The almost final product, because the final product will be that leg end of that bone and that fat meaty part and somebody's grinning face. They are yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Some of this off here while it's still hot and easy to clean. 